Um, you ready, man? Hello. Hello, hello. What's going on? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited to take a look uh, uh, at her at her games. I deliberately have not looked at any since mm -hmm. I knew we were going to be studying this. So I, you know, I'm ready. Well, today I picked the loss that broke her 13 win streak. Mm. So uh, we aren't going to see her rolling anyone. Toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Against a but, 9P. Yeah, oh. against a 9P, yeah. And um, I, I, this game will go down to a 2.5 pointer. Oh. And uh, in general, when you look at her I don't know, go ratings history, this 13 win streak sound, sounds pretty nice, but like only two of the guys were above 3,000 rating. Um, All right. Like, dude, that's still impressive, though. Like, come on. Isn't it? It's pretty impressive. It is pretty impressive. I mean, I say above two thousand rating, above two, above three thousand rating. Um, you know, three thousand rating is like Ilya rating, something like that. Yeah. Or probably stronger than Ilya rating. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, it's not like she's she's beating up mm -hmm. nobody's, but uh, they yeah. weren't very strong pros. Yeah. But Hideki Kamatsu is pretty strong. Um, this guy is like thirty one hundred go ratings. Okay. So better than Michael Redmond ever was. Sag. Sag. They probably played, I imagine. Maybe? Probably, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never heard of this guy, unfortunately. Um, sounds like just a random dude to me, but mm -hmm. literally a 9P. And similarly for Samira, right? <laughs> I, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at the game. Yeah. I have seen nothing of this one except for one moment when I was loading it and I saw the AI analysis at one moment in the middle. So okay. I know just one, one time. Okay. How old I is she, have no by, idea, the by the way? Oh. Did oh, we, do you know Nakamura how old? is 12, I think. And became pro at 11, right? Yeah. Became pro, the old, the youngest pro in all of history. Born March 2nd, 2009. <sighs> Jesus. Isn't it like 2010 still? What what year is it? <laughs> one it's a one year old. Like <laughs> 2009. Oh my god. Made her professional debut at the age of 10 years and 1 month, huh? Oh Dang. dear. How? What? <laughs> yeah. But uh, she has gotten a lot better recently. Back then, there were like whisperings, ah, this, this girl's not really pro level. But nowadays, she's pro level for sure. Mm -hmm. um, at least, you know, Japanese pro, pro level, not really Chinese pro level. But that's okay. <laughs> we don't comment too much on it. Yeah, oh. uh, just in general for her style, from what I've seen, she mm -hmm. is very tactically acute. Um, uh, very very sharp with the the all-in attacks and uh recently people have been saying over this like last little bit mm -hmm. she's been learning to play more reasonably more um uh strategically um, yeah strategically more patiently that sort of thing oh. so we'll, we'll see how that goes she's learning and improving oh no <clears throat> yeah, learning and improving, getting better. How dare she? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, so her opponent, um, this white player, I honestly have, have no idea. I think I've heard his name before, once or twice, but I have no idea what his style is or anything like that. Um, so we'll see how the game goes. Right. So far, so good, right? Actually, to be honest, not really. Normally, top pros will play this one. In this in the sports state and uh and then tenuki so something like that will they even pincer um, like uh, pincer seems unusual already or is that the one space the pincer um the, the one space pincer is relatively normal like you can do this it's just that you don't normally see this because push cut is usually considered to be a little good for weight here 
Uh, basically, the closer this pincer is to this fighting, uh, the more likely it is to be good for white. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So here, black usually doesn't accept this and just does this variation and then uh, tenuki here, which is, you know, comfortable and fun. Sure. So this way, uh, Nakamura is inviting a fight directly. You know, uh, a lot of ways, there's lots of fighting players at like um, uh, mid down and lower who never start fights by getting themselves cut. They only start fights by, by cutting, right? But it's the same thing either way, right? A whole bunch of groups get cut and then you fight, yeah? So if you're a fighting player, you should be just as willing to do things that get yourself cut as things that cut a little bit aggressively, right? True, yeah. So here she is, bang, bang, bang. Mm -hmm. And uh, this kind of trading, this was some Jaseki uh, beforehand, in the before times. <laughs> and Nakamura cho chooses to play here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I've seen this move actually a couple times recently. Um, as the follow-up to this, this kind of stone, mm -hmm. uh, when you don't really want to become over-concentrated ever. So this happens... Then sometimes later, um, white can do some very, very annoying things. Like, even if they just approach, they're threatening um, Hane, you come back, and here. Maybe I'll put it in numbers. One, two, three. Which would be Sente, and like makes this two stone actually pretty strong. And then what the heck is this this black group doing, right? And it's not to say that this is the only way that, that white can use this. White can also use the Aji from the other way. And basically, lots of, of black players don't feel that they can be on um, initiative or that they can be gaining anything when they do this kind of thing. Uh, like they, It's very hard to gain things on your opponent after you play this. Usually mm. it's the other guy who's going to be gaining for the next couple of moves. Right? Okay. So yeah. lots of people more, feel more comfortable playing this kind of move. But to be honest, I've never seen AI actually like it. Um, <laughs> when you just follow up on a, on a jump like this in such a weird way. It feels like Way is supposed to have good ways to sacrifice this stone now to punish you for not really uh, finishing it off so well. So we'll mm. see if that happens. All right. Here. So he plays away for now, and this is totally fine. Of course, there's, there's no reason to go directly here. Black doesn't need to finish it off either. And this. Pincer in today. Well, snap. I mean, this is Sumire, so she <laughs> wants to start fights. <laughs> the young gun trying to make the game super complicated so that her her old, uh, you know, older opponent gets tired and, and falls asleep at some point, you know, 200 moves into the game. It's the strat, man. It is the strat. That's my strat. <laughs> so Hideki just plays away here. It's totally reasonable. All right. And... Sumire plays this one. You can see she wants to fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, to to make this this area fair, White well, needs to start fighting at some point. Uh, I mean, if Black continues with P four and then says this is my whole corner, it was too good, right? Mm -hmm. So at some point, White's going to need to to pull something off here, and uh, that's the point Sumire wants to strike. Uh, it doesn't mean that point has to be now. It could be now. I don't know. What what would you do here? Would you play? <laughs> I would Let's just double up the top. B, yeah. C. Um, yeah, I think these are the reasonable options. Yeah, I, I would go A. I feel like if we just, like, Tanuki the lower right, maybe that's fine. Because if Black attached on top, I'd probably Tanuki again anyways. So it's just like I Tanuki, mm. then they if they extend. Like, what's Black's follow-up? Is Black's follow-up P4? Yeah, P4. Yeah, then I guess I would just Tanuki because it's just like they P4 then extend it to kill the corner. So yeah, I Tanuki. I feel like that's fine. Can't be that bad, but right? If they P4, wouldn't you have responded? No. Like you wouldn't have let them extend to kill the corner, would you? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. No? Hmm. I wouldn't have. Uh, oh, I, too big? I would respond there. Okay. But I don't know. I think A is probably fine. I think basically the, the reason is P4 is a bad move to try to kill this then. And this is a better move to try to kill this in, in general, uh, right? So yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean that that's uh, Tabari. Okay. I'd probably still say A, but uh, my eye is on, on B here locally, I think. And uh, I'm just going to wait for that to work. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Okay. And some attach. 
normal. Um, these are the three options, right? Do you know which one to pick here? Oh, there's a there's a right one. Is it not just B? Oh. Well, uh, B is the ladder working? It looks like it's working. The stone. Oh, it's three three change things. A lot. You should you should read it. Oh my <laughs> god, I did. Wait, it is working. No, it's not. Wait, it is. <clears throat> yeah, um, just B. Is there any reason to play C? The, well, if the ladder C. is working, then B is supposed to be a slightly better for black, right? Uh, and so C is the weird thing that you do in your territorial style player. Uh, it's not really recommended. Usually it's between A or B. Um, but B, if the ladder is good, usually you don't do it. You'd prefer A or here, right? So I, I expect A. He plays B. What? The ladder, though. Wait, isn't it working? I thought I read it work. <laughs> it's literally working. <laughs> Wait a second. It's here. Yeah, which means it goes to here. Uh, oh. You said to read it. You have to read it. Yeah, this is this is reading. That, that, is, is, that is cheating. I'm showing you my reading. I, I, I looked at it. I mean, oh, okay, I okay. All the here. so the ladder is working here. Hmm. So black just chose not to get the, the, the big shape in this direction. Usually it would end oh. up being this and then, sorry, not that, like this and then this kicks and then this. Black just chose not to get this one because uh, the white corner is, uh, is good and he doesn't like what the influence can do for him there. Hmm. But um, I personally don't really believe in that. I, I would still do this. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. Um, Sumiri just chose to take the, the corner instead. And this starts some kind of fight. Well, not that much of a fight, but a little bit more of a fighty position than the other one, I suppose. Hmm. So like this. This is Joseki, yeah. And now, I choose to play here. So that's timing. We don't finish the top. So it was the idea to not give... We... Yeah, wh why Why not finish the like the Joseki? We don't want to pick a side yet. I mean, either A or B is, is Sente. Yeah. You can do either one. That's totally reasonable. But it's not like he'll gain you anything, probably. Mm. And, uh, I don't know, Hideki wanted to go down here. <laughs> why not? That's fair. <laughs> okay. Sumire, I'm 100% sure, is foaming at the mouth to play 1, 2, 3. <laughs> yeah? Do you think it's good? Ah. Uh... Yeah, I do. I do think it's... Well... Oh, you're making me think. Oh no, this yeah. is scary. Yeah, honestly, I do like it. I do like it. I feel like we're gonna get some kind of thickness on the right, and that is good. Even though mm. white could maybe cut through at our, you know, M three stone off. Or I, oh, don't, even, so I don't even know the what... sequence. Ah, oh, I can't. I can't play the sequence. And get... she probably does cut. Um, I think so. But if it goes like one, two, three. Four, five, six, this kind of thing. Yeah. I think it's clearly bad for wait. I mean black can save the stun. Yeah? Yeah, that's true. So I I don't think that White is going to do that. I think White has a better plan when they play mm. here. There's no way that they come here and they're like one, two, three, oh oops. <laughs> What's the plan? I think it's four. I might be wrong. Ooh. It could also be um, something like four, five, six, seven, then eight. Oh. Okay. I don't know. But in general, I think Sumire will, will go for it because it looks kind of difficult for, yeah. for White to handle. So there it is. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay, so basically the options are Sun's move, this one, this one. 
Oh, what about is clamp N four? No. What? Why? I don't know. It just came, it just came to me. Oh, okay. Guja how prodigy is uh, <laughs> clamping. <laughs> How, how, man, I like, I'm looking at C and I'm not really sure. Wow, it's so complicated. It feels so hard to do anything. This is where I just fall apart and everything dies, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, Already unlucky. Yeah, yep. <laughs> oh, man. I guess I would play B. I don't know. C is also oh. possible. Yeah. And then I'm sure Sumire wants to play A. The strongest move, of course. If that happened, so mm. after A, do you think Wade is going to play here or here? Or uh, I guess I should make them triangles. Or one, one or two. I mean, two you could Atari first. But the point is... Uh, fights or sacrifice? What's what's who that he's been? I feel like our nine P. You know this guy. He's so globally aware, just strategic mastermind. He's gonna sacrifice and say, you know what? Those two stones are small. I'm just gonna t sacrifice and sente extend on the right, and I'm happy. Mm. So he wants to go take a base here and then play something like that and. Take a position on the on the right side. Yeah, I think it's possible. So, with that being said, do you think do you think that Sumire plays A or B? <laughs> That's oh, oh my god! I mean, this is Sumire, so you mm -hmm. have to put the most aggressive moves on the board, regardless <laughs> of whether they look like they're working or not. B is absolute <laughs> Chad domination. You're allowed to... That's illegal. That feels illegal, man. Oh, I want to play B now. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling Sumire does it. Yeah. Fight against them. Oh my of god. Course. Yeah. Don't allow them to do some sacrifice, do their whole board thinking, <laughs> thinking about Jigger. No, no, no. We fight. We fight. Use the young prodigies and mega skills. Maybe Sumire is Kenny. <laughs> to figure it out. <laughs> Every night for three hours before bed, <laughs> she has in her schedule, must go to 1-1 Weichi and flame these nerds for not getting the right answers and they're submitting their Sumego. <laughs> oh my. So now what for wait? It's hard, right? It's difficult. I bet you some people are thinking about A and then sacrifice. Or sacrifice this. So like the, the sequence being one, one, two, three, four, five, and then six on one again. And then you can do, um, okay, yeah, six on one again, and then seven, and then eight, and nine. You can do it now. Do you think that's good? Oh, I mean... It does feel locally pretty, pretty all right, but again, the right side is kind of big for black. Oh, uh, and also your shape's a little janky. Oh, uh, it's not working now. By the way, I just read if you come all the way down there, uh, then uh, black can just turn here at the end. True. <laughs> so that that would be funny. Instant lose. <laughs> Yeah, like so. This, like I said, this type of position is so hard. I just die everywhere. I, I really don't know. Maybe, like, can we even hunt on the outside? Is that even a S six? Um. Yeah, S six is absolutely a possibility. So I think since we can't really find anything else, that should be what Hideki plays. Of course. Okay. And A or B. Hey. Hey. Right. 
Why not? Why not be? Hmm. Well, oh my god. Ah. Oh. Generally, you do the um, the tiger's mouth. Oh, I guess. Why not? It helps in the corner, and that's what's important. We don't really care if we give white T5, I guess. Nah, like A. I would play A. Okay. Yeah. So the reason is, so. if you play B, then... Uh, okay, B, B is supposed to help you in the corner, but T5 is already reducing your eye space. So how much does it really help? It, g it gives yeah. you an empty triangle. <laughs> yeah, it just gives you an empty triangle for later. That's not really going to help that much. Yeah. Right. So this way... And Hideki is still, um, you know, in in in, uh, in some danger here. The two groups they have to take care of both at once. A should be a natural move. What do you do? B he extends and then A, or maybe a turn or even a diagonal here. Okay, so the problem I'm seeing with A is, don't we just die with the two stones? And if we just die with the two stones, isn't that bad? That's kind of where I'm at with A. Mm. And with B, uh, why? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. And the other moves just seem... We're going to have to come back and fix our cutting point, or we're we just going to let black cut? Or knights move us or something. I don't really know. Uh, this is like really, really hard. Maybe to stay. Feels like the most normal just fix your shape and deal with others two stones later. But I don't know. So it... after A, black is going to play C. Right? Yeah, and she's the mirror. dead, right? And then uh, even though you can try something like D, then black will just like Atari and block R2 and, and kill it. Man, so, I have no idea. Uh, I think if I'm playing here, I would play D right away. Um, yeah. But I'm not 100% sure that that's good either. I know that I can at least get a trade there and get something for white. Remember, this was the corner where black spent three mm -hmm. on one and then white is spending a move now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to get a fair result. Yeah, we just need we can get a, uh, a significantly worse result for white, but because black had another stone in the area here, it'll it'll be fine. Yep. Mm. He does play A, and that means surely, surely Sumire will block here, right? I mean, surely. Yeah. Well, I'm really it, interested to see how white kind of he plays so calmly. And it's just like, you can take that, but how he makes this good, I'm really interested to see, you know? I think White is trying to claim it's it's already good. Yeah. White doesn't even need to do anything. Maybe, um, do we P2? And then... No, no, no. He doesn't need to do anything. He's Tanuking mm. now. I think that's what he's saying. And the point is, uh, later on, sure, Black can spend one more move here. That would be very slow, right? If White gets Sente here, it's still a three on one, but White has a position towards the, this side. Yeah. yeah. And uh, still, there's going to be lots of Aji here for black. That's going to be annoying. So since white has managed to get a decent group and Aji, he's going to say, ah, fine, good enough. So I think this kind of calmness is uh, something that we wouldn't have, have done. And also, this, <laughs> let's look at this whole Q5 idea. The whole point, I guess, was, you know, he, he immediately blocked here. He, he knew he just wanted to get a group over here. So that's why he left this corner. True. Ah. Uh, so like this, I yeah. skipped through a couple moves, but I think these were the natural and expected ones. Mm -hmm. And at this moment, wait needs to find like the new thing to do. Where would you go? Uh, I think the left side is the most interesting, to my eye. Uh Uh, I don't know. D10? Attach? Something crazy? No, no, nothing crazy, son. What do we do? What do we do? I mean, honestly, 
Is it that weird to spend another move on the right? Like, jumping and... No, I think it's very reasonable yeah, to do I... something over here. But, um... Oh. Somehow it's not really the the worst thing ever if Black invades. Like, I think we would just be happy to take the outside there. Black already has the option to do this kind of thing mm. whenever they want, right? So, we aren't really expecting to get any territory here. At least, as, as my my expectation is not to get any territory here. Sure. My expectation is just, I, I made a group, all right? I've already made the group. Why do I need to spend another group? To me, it would be between A, something around B, maybe maybe B, mm -hmm. yeah, like and the... uh, something just generally over here. Yeah, yeah I like the left okay. side. Also, this one. This one's quite big. Oh, true. True. Okay. Okay, personally, I would play D, but I don't expect them to do it. Let's just see what Hideki plays. Okay, he plays one Atari. You are supposed to play this Atari first. I forgot, but yeah. That's one exchange. And then um, Black can either play the Descend or the Capture. And uh, they're both very, very similar. And they have pros and cons that are hard to decipher. So I think we can just let it go. Who cares about being that precise? Okay. When we make massive 10-point mistakes later in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay, now he plays here. Oh. You know, that's another... This guy's playing really, like, calmly, I feel. That makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, really calmly. He, yeah. Has, he has a Japanese 9P after all, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, we're pretty much worried about, like, our top right group now that we lost our corner base area and we could come under attack if Black played there. That's what he's saying. He's saying, uh, if, if Black pincered, then I would need to defend myself for a little, for, for a moment or two. Uh, but I honestly would, would welcome that. Um, I mean, if I play here and Black pincers and I just come out. I don't think this, this fight is really something Black is going to want to do now. Um, this seems premature, in my opinion. Hmm. But, mm, okay, he chooses to take a lot of territory while defending it. It's not, not a bad, bad choice, for sure. And, uh, yeah, this could potentially be slow as, a, as in a bad choice. So I think this is at least a much better move to keep the game going. Hmm. All right, but black, black is the 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 sente now. Where did you go? <laughs> she invades the right, somehow. I just feel no way, no way, no. Way. I like no, no, come on. No. I mean, uh, invading the right just doesn't look right. But isn't that the purpose? Because it's sumire. No, but sumire is uh, aggressive and you know an all-in attacker. But she's not a, a, a mad woman. I mean, she, she isn't waving a chainsaw around, you know? Damn, okay. I mean, she just wants to have tactical situations. She doesn't, she doesn't want to go and do something that's bad. <laughs> oh, well, like I said, I keep feeling like the left side to me is the biggest, so that's where I'd still want to go. I'd want to go C8. That was B. C8? Wow. Yeah. Or if maybe, I was going to the left side, the I would at least try to do this. Oh, uh, yeah. That always feels weird approaching the three three, but yeah, c six. Sumeria invested move here. Sure. This oh. Is so this is a reasonable way to to go for the right side, um, and obviously it gives Black a chance to just defend it. But uh, the point is, this Aji of this one stone being weak was always pretty painful, mm -hmm. and if you go somewhere else, it's possible that you lose tempo to deal with it for the rest of the game. This actually, like, this is a good reason to do defending moves like this. Um, when this kind of move, you can say, okay, I defend here. Certainly, it's not going to be something that you can just laugh at and say, ha, 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 a small move. How could you mm -hmm. dare play this ever? And um, when you just start doing this one and a fight really breaks out, like a real fight breaks out, like, a, I mean, uh, things start going really crazy and then it spirals out of control and it spirals out of control. And eventually, White has any move over here forcing. Then you're like, why didn't I just play P6 before I started this? Yeah? Yeah. So, um, 
this kind of P6 move is something that you see a lot in, for example, Shusaku's games, and not so much in the modern pro games. But Shusaku, when he plays this kind of move, it's, it's often blue. And when the modern pro misses this kind of move, it was often blue too. I mean, uh, it's, it's really hard to get the timing for this kind of thing. But I actually, I respect this move a lot. I think it's really big. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. It makes so much sense, too. I mean, it doesn't give way a good move to defend the right side. It's also important, yeah? Like, mm -hmm. if you'd play this kind of move, and then White gets to capture a stone to live, or something like that, then it wasn't good, because then you didn't make a good exchange. But here, no matter how White defends the right side, you can say, this is a good exchange. Hmm. Also, you know, the, my reasoning was dependent on some kind of fight breaking out, so you can see Sumire is used to fights breaking out in her games. Yeah? And that's why she plays this kind of game. <laughs> Hmm. Would you play A, B, uh, C, or somewhere around D? Yeah, I was looking at A or B, but... Actually, E is also an option. I think we just go to the... I still just... Tanuki can go to the left, but... Oh, uh, after seeing the move on the top, maybe going to the... Ah, uh, no, left side, right? Left side. We can say our stones uh, are light in Tanuki, though. I'm absolutely not playing D. I, b I debated you. There's no way. I'm for 100% sure Fuck. Uh, you're going to do something over here. Because if Black invades now, it's not so much a, I didn't want to take territory here anyway as a, oh shit, I'm dying everywhere. <laughs> Damn, then Black's move was really good if it was Sente, too. That's kind of also the point. I, I, like, I don't like want to answer it because... How can I give you this nice move in Sente to fix the Aji? Okay, you say in Sente, but I think this kind of reasoning is really bad, actually. Is it? Um, when you say in Sente for, for any move in the mid-game, because they played a move and you played a move, what gives, you, what gives them the right to say, my move was played first, so it was better? Like, what? I mean, uh, it just depends on whether the exchange was good or not. Like, regardless of how it was played. If it was, uh, if it was B first and then Black played this one, that would also be a reasonable move order, right? And then you would say, I can't believe White played Sente. How can I let them get away with this? Right? Like, no, it doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, I never thought of that. Holy shit. So, in general, I try not to think about Sente, you know, in, in this kind of... Mid-game scenario, I'm just thinking, is that a good exchange, a bad exchange? Yeah, and I think the top rows are thinking that way, too. True. All right, shit. So 100% I'm playing on the right side, and my idea is I gain this territory more firmly. You just gain strength here. I just don't let you use the strength very well later in the game. That would be how it becomes a good exchange for me. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Hell yeah. Let's get... Hell yeah! E. Locking it in. E. All right. Personally, I would play B, but I think A, B, E are all similar and close. And E is probably pretty reasonable. Maybe he plays it. Does he? Oh, he, does uh, a. he plays A. Yeah, it's really hard to tell honestly yeah. which which one of these is the best. Yeah. Um, but A is a pretty nice, flexible move, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if if Black does this one, we can tenuki still. So uh, that would make A probably the best position after this sort of thing. If, if you don't care about these stones very much at all, then A is the, the best way to just take a base generally on the right side. Uh, uh. Yeah, I was so worried about the clamp, that's why I kind of wanted to do the bamboo. But I guess mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Mm. It just doesn't matter, yeah. It's yeah. Tanuki forever, yeah. True. All right. Now where does Sumiri go? Surely it's to the right side now, yeah? Or left side now? I would think. But after this, maybe the bottom is bigger now. The bottom's not small. Some kind of approach on the lower left. Mm -hmm. You could even play d4 since you want both sides. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nope, no. Never lucky. Oh. Sumire. Uh, and uh, the point is, a lot of the time later, White should be pushing up and then attacking the stone. That's a fight. So even now, White should be thinking, ah, I should push up. But then there's a Sumiri's kind of game. Yeah. So this is a, a, this is her own style of being an attacker. She's used to bullying the other poor 2,800 pros and uh, making them all fall back here. And then she gets a slightly good exchange for later. 
But I think, wait, we'll, we'll just fall back. Yeah. In this case, I'm not even so sure it's a slightly good exchange because it makes it, it makes this base a lot more clear. Hmm. Okay. Now d4, something like that. I mean, you could play q10. Do you think she does it? I, Q10. This or some some general move over here. I highly doubt. Highly doubt that. General move over towards B. Lower left corner. What if it was C? Is this possible? Uh, is it possible? Yes. Oops. Being with this string of D's. <laughs> I, okay, in my mind, I see C, it's like we're building thickness influence towards the bottom even more. But we mm -hmm. wanted it, we would normally want to have an extension down there at first already, right? If mm -hmm. we're going to push like that. So I feel like we go to the lower side first and then maybe hope we can see later. So, to, yeah, to me, C seems slack and A also seems slack <laughs> because there's no actual cutting threat. Yeah. Um, so both of these moves seems like they will just get you like behind in tempo, or if you, you you can sort of feel that after you play this and White does something in the bottom left, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, <laughs> ah, yeah, great. So I'm pretty sure you do something in general, left side, bottom side. Okay, yeah, this one. Um, this is a bit close. Normally you would expect White to play here, and then it would, would be um, considered good for White most of the time. I think Black's reasoning here is that she wants to go for this one now. And then she gets something on both sides. After this sort of thing, then uh, I don't know exactly how she can take care. But if she just takes care and takes the territory and already also gets this, then uh, her strate strategic plan is, hey, look, look, look at this, you know? I mean, White had some weaknesses in their shape, and then I'm just going to harass them and take all the territory and everywhere. Uh, I think that's the point. So White doesn't really want to play something like that and allow a reapproach. Uh, that, that's that's my interpretation at least. And um, do you play here or e3? They're both moves. Yeah, they're both Joseki. Oh, just a two space jump. It. I mean, mm. the only difference I can tell is, okay, B is a little bit stronger, but, or, yeah, a little bit stronger and a less weak of a connection? I mean, when you play A right? and Black plays H3, you worry a bit, right? No. When you play B to... and Black plays G3, you definitely don't worry about anything. Yeah? So you feel free to just go to the left side. Basically, if you play A and Black plays H3, and then you invade, and Black jumps up, okay, something's going on. Yeah. Uh... So I personally would play B here, but I totally understand playing A. It's, it's not like this is a, a wrong move. I just yeah. would find it hard to play afterwards. Let's see. He does not do it. Does he play A? It's here. <laughs> this is, you mentioned this move earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um. Feels nice. Forehead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't really get the point. Uh, isn't like um, one, two, three, four, five? Isn't the ladder working for black? You're just gonna extend here. That would be the idea, I think. I don't know why he didn't know. I would still answer the bottom, but uh, <laughs> he he has some plan. He has a plan. Something. He doesn't want to bow down to this this uh, <laughs> annoying kid for the whole game. Immediately bring the fight to them first. Yeah. What can we cross cut? One, two, five. <laughs> what? I'm just... No, I'm crazy. Ignore me, ignore me. Never mind. I was trying to think okay. if Hana on the outside's not really totally... We don't have the ladder. Maybe we do something else, but I don't know. So you can basically Hane outside, Hane on top, or um, descent here. I think those are the only reasonable options. Yeah. Um, uh, but it, in general, Hane on top looks extremely dubious after just counter Hane. Like, what, what the hell is this? What are you doing? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but... 
um to me a is like the the one the one move here that black can play to continue being to continue saying that she's she's got a good position so never mind here so she yeah. says i'll fight you here yeah and if you just follow up like this which is the game she has a plan of something i would never have allowed this personally no way I play E3 here. This looks bad. Like, what do you do now? She's planning to C12, I guess. But the group is still weak, right? Okay, it must be C12, yeah. Wedge connect. There's no other way to save that shape. And then here, um, okay. It, it, it can be A or B, but probably A, yeah. Um, they, they say don't make double tiger's mouths, but of course when both peeps are covered, you can make double tiger's mouths. Or when only one peep exists, then it's any good. Yeah. So the stones are still efficient here. And then the point is, Sumeria's point is, um, she can you know follow up on this stone and, and, and really roll the corner here. But Hideki's point is that the whole group over here is becoming weak and before it was capturing a stone. I mean, now, whenever Hideki wants, he could play the A exchange. He won't, but he could, right? And then uh, this group has no base. So yeah. do you think Sumire plays A, B, C, or D? Okay, my eye is going to be B is feeling like... Uh, an important place to play, considering white can get Sente there, um, to peep us. I just want to make eyes and take care of my group. I feel really weak. However, if we take care of our group and then, I don't know, white comes back to the lower side, I feel pretty bad. Maybe I don't. Uh, I don't know. I Okay, I go B. Just take care of my group. I think I debated you again. I would never play B here. Fuck. Ass. <laughs> no, but I, no, I, I would still play it though. Why? I, yeah, I, I showed you the the variation where where white makes that exchange. Yeah, so there's something here, and white makes this exchange. But actually, black is going to respond here. You're going to do this, and then black is going to play here. Black has the chance to make a base and just like totally run out. I mean, this mm. uh, this two, three, four lost oh, yeah. shape. If white plays here. Yeah, it, nice. it was sente, but it lost shape in the sense that black got this kind of nice, nice thing. Um, at least that's that's my interpretation here. So, uh, I would be playing A, or honestly, I'd I'd I would just really want to play A right now. I don't want white to extend up. So you play B, and white just extends up at A, and uh... then I I hit it. Well, we play B, White plays A, then we go to the lower side. He plays, she plays this. She plays this one. So apparently I'm wrong, but... Hmm. I think Sumiri's wrong. <laughs> I love it. Feels good, man. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I mean, it, it did take black space to do that kind of exchange, but um, isn't this B15 so nice? And, you know, the solid connect. I don't know. I don't know. In my mind, it was just about living like it. I don't know. It was more about just being alive now. I, I mean, we're not. I guess we're not even alive, but mostly. Well, I assumed Dwight was going to play here, but he didn't. <laughs> Jump instead? No? Okay. Just this one. Okay, fine. This is also a reasonable move. Mm. So basically, White managed to bully this area in Sente and then come back to, to make E3 look dumb, too. Yeah. Yeah. Feels nice for white. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what to do here for, for black very much. I think probably you have to peep. Yeah, and then this. All right. Oh, not it doesn't connecting. Connect. What is it? What? That makes a lot of sense here, actually. Yeah. yeah. Not that even. This one. Oh. I assumed. Oh, oh, after this, you still have to connect. So the point is, he didn't want to become a heavy group and fight and then also have this fight to deal with so basically whenever black plays some move like this it's almost sente yeah and there's still going to be weakness there but black can get um, an in initiative of some kind over here this is what you know sumire would probably do something like this yeah so uh hideki's plan is here and then if if black cuts then he can atari over 
And it, isn't it a painful squeeze? It is. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. That's some nice global thinking again from this mm-hmm. guy. I'm so worried just, about my group. It's like, just give it up and get the squeeze and then take push it D5 or whatever. Like, right. General awareness that you should be not answering peeps whenever you can. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, black, extend up, maybe? That's what I would do. That's looking nice. <laughs> not what Samiri does. There's no way she bites, does he? No. Uh, no way. Well, no. Okay, so the plan after this extend up was going to be what for which? This one? And here and here? It looks strange. I mean, uh, something like this could cleanly get white, this kind of uh, territory, and black strength doesn't matter that much because they already spent this, this weird B13 move. But somehow it doesn't really feel natural to me. Ah, oh, I accidentally clicked forward. Dang it. Okay, back to here. <laughs> Uh, okay. So the point of this move from Sumire, I believe, some kind of double threat to play over here, specifically like A or B. Is B the move? Ah, oh. that's absolutely uh, yeah. Because we don't need to save the C stun. We just need to get a good position. Yeah. So you play B. White pushes it through, and White cuts, and then you sacrifice it, and then White is bad. So what would you do? Personally, I would play B myself as white because I don't really believe in this A threat. Maybe it's real. I don't know. I guess the point is, let's see. Did he do it? He did it. And A? It wasn't A. So Sumiri didn't believe in it either because this way, this would be the way to actually make that kind of threat a reality. But if white just, like, uh, Atari's here a couple times, even though black does something like this, this is not really looking very efficient. Uh, even if you just like extend, I don't know. Black doesn't seem very efficient in capturing in general. Mm-hmm. Um, so this this one seems strange to me. So presumably Samiri instead plays here. No, neither of these. Just jump G three. So if not A and not B. Then surely the C was a mistake, right? I mean, well, what else can you do? Jump at G three, but then uh, doesn't wake it to get the good flow. There's no way you can, yeah, you can't accept this kind of thing. Because after you come back over here, then you don't have the same threat to, to surround, to do this push. That, that was the nice thing, that was why. Does she bite now? That would be stupid, yeah. F6? And then that makes something on the left work? F6? No. Hmm. Well, what is it? <laughs> gotcha. Sometimes it's weird like that. Okay, maybe it's this one. Ah. Okay. So Sumiri's point is, uh, if White goes there, she wants to play B. Hmm. And then uh, C, D, E, F. This one stone at d6 is well positioned, so. Oh, wow, okay. Hmm. I would still do it. No. Block, block. So White is adamant about giving up these, these stones somehow. This happens. Push. And block here. Yeah. Push. Okay. And now I'm not sure. I don't know what White's plan is now. Push again? Not push again. Uh... Not push again. So the problem with push again, you get honeyed, right? And then, uh, then that next move is really hard. 
just an empty triangle would feel bad, right? So maybe instead you do this. Okay. Connect under. Okay. <laughs> that was stupid. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Can you attach here? You can. So the yeah. point of this attach here is if black plays this, then uh, then B is a lot better. Oh. Oh. Okay. Then black plays B. If I'm not wrong, actually, this is the point where I saw the AI. I think this is the point where I saw the AI. And Sumire played... Okay. Uh, Sumire played... Oh, <coughs> never mind. Next move, next move. So after this, and then white plays... Probably not this one, because this is what Sumire is asking for, right? So Sumire is saying... Then if you do this, then I'll play A, and if you do something here, I'll play B and C, and some kind of breakout, or maybe uh, maybe this one first, or maybe even just this one immediately. C, I don't know. There's going to be some Aji with the cut, is what is what she's saying, and there's some there's some whisperings of bad shape there, at least the the that even I can see. So maybe White connects here. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. And then does Black play here? Yeah. Then Black plays here. But uh, this is the point where I saw an AI that she made some some big mistake, oh. and apparently it was seven points better to play this one instead. Wow, wow, okay. And so yeah, from here to the rest of the game, from this point on, White was actually doing better. Until now, I don't think White was was doing better according to AI, but I don't remember. Oh. All right. So the point of this one is just, you know, we're attacking this. It's a lot better. Right? Um, I mean, uh, this one doesn't allow White the, the good move of pushing through. Yeah. I mean, now what? It's, you, it's hard you to play. Sorry, you'd connect? Here? That's what I was thinking. The problem with Atari, I don't think White would answer. White would Hanai first. Right? Or maybe uh, Atari this way, and then this way? Are you going to answer? That's pretty annoying. Then, uh, I mean, even just this should be should be fine for white. Oh, such a hard game. Extend. Okay. This is a classic Sumeria game, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but white is actually fighting back. White is fitting well. Okay, so white should extend again, yeah? For sure. Makes Maybe. sense. Yep. And now Atari here, so that you don't get suffer that kind of crazy Atari thing. Okay. So good good move order by Sumire. Mm, this one? Just turn. Not this one yet. So there's oh. uh, the problem with this one is it loses a lot of Aji over here. Yeah. It's not really the best way to use that Aji. So probably better even to do that one. But something even better than that. Hard to find. What is it play? Oh, I guess, yeah. Lower side. Make black jump out naturally and then turn. Like. Something. So you, yeah, make black come out so that then we can just defend this one weak group. Yeah. As, as strongly as possible. It's not a bad flow. But, uh. I would be worried that I'm just getting myself further attacked, like attacked harder. So this is, of course, going to happen. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, Wade probably wanted this move. No. Oh, attach H8. Hmm. I guess that's reasonable here. Yeah, attach. So uh, Black needs to honey outside, as far as I can tell, mm. and then. Uh, the problem was that at this moment, if you play here, black can do that one and, and squeeze you a bit. But I think white is okay with that, like to, to get an empty triangle there, because it turns the push and cut there. And this black stone isn't so useful. So I think white will extend. Oh. Turn here first? No. What is the point? Wedge? Okay, but if you wedge, black is just going to come back and connect here, right? Like, why, why did we do that? Oh. 
<laughs> Feels a nice smile. <laughs> Feels nice smile. Feels nice. Push. Push. Oh, snap. Oh, this gets better, isn't it? I didn't think about this, but yeah, this is just better, right? Once you see it. Black couldn't even run out because uh, painful. Oops, not like this. Painful. Painful. Wow. That's uh that's the nine P driving to Suji right there. So yeah, I had to accept this and then White can get that as Atari at any time. So now that White has that in Atari, maybe White extends? No, never mind. <laughs> never mind. What are we, oh, no, Hane. Oh true. Oh. That's so true. We're connected. Yeah, so we both just read out this sequence. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is actually amazing. Holy shit. The problem is here, here, here. What what are we doing? I don't think you can connect to. You have to Atari first. Oh, you have to Atari first. I see, I see, I see. Okay. So you, you Atari the, the stones first, and then you do that. Okay, fine. Then Black is just going to connect here, or... Atari this one first. So Atari here first is saying you already have that stone, so I should give you this stone. But um, apparently Samiri didn't want to do any of those things. Double honey? Did you what check did you extent? Do? Just extent. She didn't fix this, right? Oh. Why would you fix this? This seems wrong to me. What does that this mean seems doing? Wrong. What does that do? Uh, so if white obliges and plays this later, you didn't have to spend a move over here. So the two moves over here were better. Yeah. And uh, so the, her point is, as long as there's still some, some Aji over here that she can punish later, then uh, she can make white make this bad one for two exchange. And her two moves are on the outside. The problem is this, this move is on the outside. But the outside of a uh, ridiculous amount of strength. So you don't need a stone over there, in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's trying to overcome the potential that White had for strength here to assist his group. But uh, White can just take care of their, their own group by themselves now, yeah? And I think it should be fine. Even if it's just like a connect here, it would be fine. But White can probably do better. Yeah, I was thinking connect. I was trying to think, how do we, how do we play? Uh, what do we do? I mean, you say it should be bad, but like, I'm not, I don't know what I do is white, exactly. No, but you just do anything, and then this is what, one black stone is in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's terrible. It's true. You could even give up this group at this point. I mean, why did black do this? Anyway. <laughs> white chooses to connect. Very normal. Okay. That's what Surely doing. black will choose to connect now, and then white can tiger or even do something better. Can you extend here? Is he planning this one? Ah, oh, this one isn't bad. No, never mind. It's not Tiger's mouth, and it's what? Yeah, why wouldn't you Tiger here? Surely, I really want a Tiger here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we peep like H five or something like that first? Ah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, black won't cut now, probably. Probably. I mean, it is a mirror. <laughs> cut and lose. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no, no way, right? I mean, surely she just does this. Yeah. yeah. Then, then Tiger does this. Of course. Beautiful. Was this really a good exchange? Uh, so the reason why you wanted to do it was because it makes this <laughs> back group, you know, some kind of uh, bad shape and chases it but there was actually like there, I, I really didn't want to do this because uh, there was mm. really I really wanted to aim at doing this kind of push A and cut A, B, C I mean I, I, I know it doesn't work right now but uh, in general I fight around here and uh, that makes mm. moves uh, that makes that kind of cut work pretty easily yeah so 
I mean, I guess the the reason why you would say H5 for, for H6 is good is if black can play moves um, in in this area, that will be Sente on the white bottom mm-hmm. and then fix the cut. Is that really true? I guess it, But black doesn't want to do this. But I guess black can do that most of the time. I don't know. I'm a little suspicious that this H5 for H6 thing is actually good for, for white. Hmm. I would be, I see what you're saying, and I'm kind of, I totally agree with that, but I don't see how I would ever practically fight in that area where that would actually be useful, or at least more useful than being able to extend J5. I would rather have the J5 extension and just say, you're never going to get any points or anything in this area, and you can still get attacked, you know? Like, I mean, uh, Go is a, a long, 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 long that, game, that right? Is true. Like, uh, that is true. this happens, this happens, this is what's going to happen now. And then later on, you know, black can press over here, and all of a sudden this becomes a moyo, and your only option to reduce it is something over this way. And so black tries to take the territory from you here, and you need to take the strength on the outside, and you're taking the strength on the outside, and you're doing something like that. And all of a sudden, my god, if you have this cut, <laughs> then black needs to spend another move, right? But uh, instead, we just made this exchange. Uh, I mean, maybe it's still fine in this particular circumstance, because this is peep, yeah? But. This is the point, right? Good. You can't just say that cut will never be useful. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's true. You, you just have to claim that the that losing the cut is worth the H5. Mm, maybe. I, I might believe maybe. you, but it's not it, It's not in my hurt. It's not in my hurt. True. Okay. Like this? Okay. Next. So now Sumire gets to attack a group. Hurrah, hurrah. And, uh... I mean, honestly, this kind of attack... I think you can already tell from, from this position, uh, white is better, for sure. Because look at this. This is terrible for black. So many stones. And look at this group. Terrible, right? Mm. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. You're all good. Mm. I don't know how to attack this, actually. I don't think we... Yeah, I don't know how. I'll be honest. I don't see how it's possible to attack this well and gain anything. If anything, I'd want to play, like, P7 is the move I'm looking at, because that's, like, some kind of... Or, like, Q10. Bah. Leaning... But still feels yeah, wrong. I would, never. I would just yeah. want a Tanuki to the top left right now. B17. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I don't see how we can attack it, so don't. Just go to the big mm. place. I think she honeys. No? I wanted to honey double honey. Oh. I mean, the point <laughs> is, this group still potentially weak. So, okay, you can say, ah, I don't want to attack. But I'm going to go over here. But yeah. when white jumps... Uh, this is a problem. That's true. That's true. So you can't just say there's no points here, therefore there's no profit. Like strength is important. Yeah. You, you can't just leave a group alone. Yeah, that's super true. But L nine then. Cap. I don't think L nine is is a uh, is a real attack. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is just worse than uh, playing jump K nine yourself, right? Uh okay. I don't know. Where did she play? Sumire, <laughs> here it is. I will kill you. So take some territory in the top while I try. Oh my That's god! This. He's a Chad dude. That is that is the Chad move, for sure. <laughs> I yeah. But this okay. I I know I I laughed at it and. uh you know, I, I, I'm i calling it Chad in a kind of a uh, derogatory way. But this kind of move actually does happen in strong pro players' games as well. I mean, like, top pro players, like the, the Park Ching Wans of the world. They, they, they play this kind of move sometimes when they believe there's no chance I'll ever come to invade the top again. And this kind of move is useful to me right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the, the there's no chance that I'll ever come to invade the top again. Could be true. Could be true. 
uh, I mean, it's pretty hard to find any spot to, to invade that feels comfortable, right? And the this move is useful to me right now. I mean, it's not nothing. It, I wouldn't call it useful, but it's not nothing, right? To, to attack it. Like, Yasumiri is aiming at some double Hane combination, pushing white this way. And then when she has some stones or some weaknesses over there, you can get ahead. Yeah, this is a way to beat a pro. Hmm. But I, I would still laugh at it if, if, if my opponent played it. Yeah. It just looks funny. Yeah, that's true. And White just extends like the calm 9B he is. Of course, uh, yeah. I played it. You, you, you didn't even need to click the next move. You just play it for him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay, Sumire may choose to play A, or he, she may come to, to B right away. Yeah, I, I think either way. Is there much of a difference? Uh, sometimes you can play like this move in Sente instead, so I think it's probably better to go here first. Okay. Mm. This one. Okay, none of them. Oh, turn here. Aha, uh -huh. this is actually very high class. Very classy. Yeah, at this exact moment, uh, White feels some trepidation to come to the center very strongly. Yeah, because something like this, here, 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 pretty, pretty darn severe. And that means, okay, if we make some exchange over here to, to make White stronger, it could matter. Yeah, because it, it can be a fight like this and this. Like, this can be a long fight. It doesn't have to be a short fight. Um, and so things that we do to strengthen White right now could be bad for when White wants to play aggressively there. So White probably needs to just back off, and then yeah. White, White play, Black plays over here, and it's better. So this timing of B for C is actually really nice. I like it again. Oh, wow. I think it's educational, right? Yeah, that is nice. The order and timing. Basically, we, we didn't even consider that at, at this moment, it's really hard to consider that this is an active area, but there's a cutting point there, yeah? Yeah. And you have to get the cutting point's value eventually, or you, you lost value, right? Um, so it's important, I think, whenever you're doing something around here, to look, just look around for the other areas and think, am I losing something? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to play that. That's... It's high class, right? That is. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> So here, here, and uh, okay, that doesn't mean that Sumire even needs to do something over here, because this did strengthen White this way. That means that White can choose to fight a lot against attempts to break into the Moyo, or the potential territory in the top. Um, mm -hmm. So Sumire could just come over here now. But I have a feeling she just, I don't know, wants to fight. Something like that? No. Descend? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is what you're talking about, descend, right? Oh my god. We're actually doing it. What the hell is this? I've never seen this in, before in my life. You just honey here? Why? What? What? Why? What? And attach an H16 pog. No. I don't know. Yeah, I want an H15. <laughs> Make H15 Sente. No. Sag. Honey? I think it's just this. Yeah. No. Never mind. Oh, it's this one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't later, just make it. I really don't get time, it. Time, 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 Suji, time, Suji. Then we attack the center. <laughs> no way. No way. <clears throat> there has to be a plan. It's just a dumb plan. Relatable. No, I mean, really. A was super high class, B is seen super low class. Like, what the hell is this? You're going to empty triangle out? What, what? Cut! You just capture. She wants to squeeze. Okay. This is really low class, actually. So this was high class. This is this is a really low class maneuver. Um, <laughs> I, I have to say it. I'm sorry. Uh, the, the, uh, this is getting this stuff in Sente. So she wants the the uh, these moves in Sente, and even maybe there's some some residual Aji over here. But um, if you wanted to play over here, if you sorry, if you wanted to play in this area. Then you don't need to make this exchange. You just play something like this. There's going to be moves like A available to you later. So 
there's no reason to go after the Aji and be like, I use this Aji right now to die with my stones very directly so that I get two moves here that are with my thickness to give me a little bit of extra territory that I could even spend an endgame move later on. And probably will. I mean, there's more sensei for black than white. I really don't like this this maneuver. I think yeah. this is game losing. Okay. So now she has sensei, so she comes back here? Never mind. So this one. Play. So they really don't want to play this Hane double Hane idea that they have. I guess it's just like white's fine. Mm. And like. And ends up dame somehow. Yeah. Hard to attack it. Not like in a real way. But I mean, you do this one and then white Tanuki is then It's not so hard to attack in a real way. Yeah? Then white white Tanuki. And it's not like I can claim these moves are very, very small. Because again, this group is somewhat weak, yeah? Mm. So, I don't know. Personally, this S7 move strikes me as off because these stones were always going to be sacrificed again. So again, I think this is slow. And I think white can just come to the center and do something here to gain control. But you can even do something on the bottom side. Or this one. This is Atari. Okay. So that's just an endgame Atari. And then uh, and then jumps. Yes, yeah, jump. Okay. So I think this is totally punishing this S7. I think this is, is Hideki showing us showing us Sumiri's mistake. Suddenly she has this weak group here. So I think she agreed with you, saying, I don't care about points here, but this this is also terrible. I mean, you can't defend this group and also gain points at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. So you you just totally lost the opportunity to, to do something good there. Yeah. I get it. I feel it. Relatable. Trashing the pros, Sag. Sag. Unlucky. <laughs> The pro just has to play better. Sorry. <laughs> Rolled. 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 Okay, but she did play some really nice moves. Yeah, this one, this one. Some really high-class moves. Just a, a couple low-class moves going on, too. It's okay. What do we do as well? Mm -hmm. what do, we do? do we have to spend a move to defend our group? <laughs> Like, it kind of feels like we have to jump or something, or Hane, or... Yeah, yeah. That's not... I happy. think you... Yeah. I mean, this Hane is terrible, right? You can't do that. No, we can't, we don't, we can't answer. If we Tanuki'd once, we have to Tanuki again. Otherwise, why'd we Tanuki in the first place? So you're gonna go over here or something? Okay. Yeah. So Sumire agrees. She's like, oh my goodness, give me these three stones. I can't <laughs> believe you're letting me eat these three stones to kill these two stones more. Uh, I think this is terrible again. And white just plays, I don't know, something on the bottom side. Maybe this one? One yeah. space jump. You can also play over here, like this isn't small, or even uh, defend this way, if that's possible. Mm. Ah, oh, so Hideki attach. plays this attach. This attach. Yeah, that's nice. The big, the big place. Hmm. So just playing to this area, but less firmly going towards uh, the center, because the center... Like, the fact that black became a somewhat weak group there doesn't mean I should attack it. And that was my point when I say shoulder hit here mm -hmm. rather than something like jump. Yeah. But the problem with shoulder hit is it allows black to be like, uh, yeah, but you are playing in the center. Right? So this is a, a, this is a much nicer way to, to double attack, because it's saying, okay, black, you, you, you can just play some normal thing here, but... If it doesn't have very much effect on the center, then I'll attack it. Yeah. So you you aren't allowed to do something very greedy like this one as black here. This is just illegal. So I'm sure Samiri plays. Oh, she doesn't play this one. Go to jail for that one. <laughs> Tanuki again. Attack the this group or die. <laughs> okay. What does she play? She knows she's behind. Yeah. So uh, she just directly this defends. Nice. This is actually pretty nice. I'm I'm actually a fan of this one. Yeah. Because mm. if White plays here, I'm sure White, White will do something around here. Yeah, White does this one. You can play N2, and then when White Atari is, Tanuki. And um, particularly Tanuki to the center. So, honestly, this feels like it was not so bad. Um, mm. Not so bad of a response to just play there. But still, of course, White, White definitely is gaining from his, you know, his seizing of some initiative here, 
transitioned very cleanly into points here. That's so crazy too. Cause you don't, you see this one space jump in the center. You're like, this is just doing nothing. But in reality, you're getting stronger. Black's getting weaker. And in return, you're getting points on the side. Like the way that happens is actually kind of instructive, right? It's like by b being stronger in the center, they get weaker because they're weaker. Mm -hmm. They can't get points on the side. Yeah. Like that's very instructive. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hideki's doing it right. He's, he's, he's making good calls. That's crazy. Awesome. So, yeah. Sumire just goes all in now on this, this attack. So, she didn't yeah. want to get uh, actually jumped here. That would be scary. But now that she has this, she's saying, okay, this group isn't really going to be attacked. Mm -hmm. And similarly for the white group, that's not really going to get attacked. At least not until I have a lot more strength. And hey, look, there's a group over here that could potentially become weak. This is the chance. This is the way to come back into the game. That's go. what you're saying. She's going to pull off a scam. A murder. I mean, that's what she always does, actually. She's, she's pretty good at it. <laughs> right? Um, if white comes down here, it's just, just noting what uh, black is tanuki from. Because, of course, we were expecting uh, Sumiri to play some meekly like this. This is, you know, the... The normal way, and this is the way that you just start getting rolled and rolled and rolled when you play nine on that sort of sort of level. Even though you play normal moves, if you don't play your own moves and you don't win. Um, so if white follows up over here, black is just planning to capture, and then white could do something like this, which has you know some additional threat on the the weakness of those stones, but it isn't really like huge. Yeah, it's just an end game. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we're just leaving some endgame behind, and the same thing if this kind of if this order happens. Excuse me. Here, it's still just an endgame, but maybe one for two would be better to try to make this this one blackstone heavier, and probably black would not even answer this and just continue to tanuki. Yeah, and it, it, black would claim it's still endgame, which is kind of true. So it's very sensible, I think, to, to tanuki here. Q10 is uh, super aware of her position in the game and also how to cause problems for the other guy it doesn't mean that you just go and do something now it means that you sit there and wait for there to be a chance to do something later yeah this is the perfect way to wait and leave weaknesses leave chances so that the other guy can't just you know do nothing mm -hmm. nice move that's a good nice move. move and if i'm white i want to i honestly want to defend the right side i feel kind of well you're supposed to defend the right side weak sure, think, right? and but how? Well, how do you do it? Do it the right way. One? one of those two is my intuition. You yeah. can also do it this way. Yeah, this is a good really? sentence. Oh. Because we can uh, like save here. So it's really annoying for black, I think. I think black needs to play here. And that's uh, aiming at this cutting point. But white is just going to say, I don't care. And... Uh, Defend somewhere over here. I keep wanting that move because it's a typical, <laughs> stereotypical like Japanese. I iron pillar in the middle of nowhere with my weak group and say that ah, it was for my strength. <laughs> yeah, but okay, maybe he actually connects. Nah. This would be slow. The problem with connecting is just uh, if you connect here, you need to prove that your access to the center is like valuable somehow, more valuable than the move over here. And I think yeah. uh, Black would be happy to. To try and prove you wrong about that. To try and, I don't know, just generally add a move over here somehow. And attack your, your whole group. Run you to the center and then split you later. So like this and this. Looks scary, right? Not, not such an easy way to win a, one game. So maybe he pushes here? I don't know. Oh, make one Atari. Ah, because he's expecting Black to cut here later. And once you cut... This Atari would come with a capture on the outside. So first he wants this Atari and Black to connect here. Then later he's happy to allow Black to cut. And he's already gained the fact that after cut, push, Atari, doesn't work. You just capture. Oh. Very nice so this, timing. Yeah, this T7 was super important. And I think I totally would never have seen it. Same. It's clearly the right timing. Clearly really good. How can we see this kind of move, son? What's By solving 10,000 more endgame Sumego. Or just su Tsuji Sumego. That's all. Smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but actually, um, 
I feel like if you just have a better, like the perfect understanding of the position, like you know what you want to do and you know what's going to happen. So then you say, okay, how can I make this the best for me? Right. Mm. You you know, he's going to cut and you're not going to connect. Right. And black's going to cut. So you already know mm -hmm. that's going to happen. So how can you make that the best for you? Then maybe you could see that. But it's so tiring to ask that every move, right? That's what it takes. Like how... <laughs> but, but but really, I mean, you come to this position and you're like, uh, okay, where's the important area? And you find the important area and you play here. And every single move you're going to say, how do I make this the best for me? And then look around everywhere and find every exchange that could potentially be good for you after what you think, like... I mean, well, you, do, uh, you just do that. You just do it enough times, and uh, right, you just do it enough times. I'm sure even they missed every single good ex like. It's not like they get every good exchange, right? But uh, enough of them, like a bunch of them. I mean, I. I, I don't know. I I have a feeling that there's a there's more a more specific way to think about this than just I make it the best for me. I, I have yeah. a feeling that there's like, you know. It's like in the Fan Hui versus AlphaGo game where they did some sequence over here. Do you remember? Where it was super subtle and, uh, you know, oh, these, these they pushed, small differences where they were They making got the end yeah. game while they could, just those pushes, right? The reducing yeah, yeah, yeah. pushes. They, they, were doing, they were doing some end game subtlety right while they were doing like mid game, I push for, for my fighting strength. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. So this is the same sort of thing. This is like almost end game subtlety, but it's also, it's like end game and life and death subtlety. Just in the middle of the game, while you would totally expect him to be caring about his group. Oh, right? act, you know, honestly, it's like, you're always going to want it, so just get it. Like, you're always going to want it, so just get it. But that's not true for some things, right? Like, it's, uh, some of the time, uh, for example, for example here, suppose uh, the fighting went really, really crazy around here. Yeah. Really, really, really crazy. And White managed to save these stones. <laughs> okay. Could happen, right? Yeah. It, no, it, it could happen. I mean, white plays here and then back to Nuki's, and white plays here and, and back to Nuki's. It could happen. Okay. Yeah. White manages to save those two stones sure. and manages just to cut here. Sure. Then, uh, you know, as we as we fight in in uh, in this local area, if these two stones are still on the board, there's some chance that Black will play a self Atari in the strongest fight, fighting sequence. Yeah. But when the two stones are off the board because you played this, you know, stupid T7 one pointer then you could lose a lot, right? So it's not true that you always want T7 for these stones mm. being off the board. But it is true that T7 is super valuable right now because it specifically has to do with life and death of this and endgame of this. Yeah. And the fact that black cuts and then you can't, you can't get the same exchange anymore. That's true, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, like, um, just saying I, I, I won't ever need anything else here isn't enough to say this is actually valuable for me and I need it. Like how do how do we think about that? How do you think? How do you how do you find this kind of move well, that is actually valuable for you? I think you just explained it. You're like, okay, we we don't want to give Black that Atari like on the first line, so it's it's valuable for us right now. And in most cases, generally, like in ninety nine percent of the cases, we don't care if those two stones are captured. So it's really important. Let's get it now, like because it's important now. Take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because it's important now. So that's that's how once you see that you can play A, yeah. you say, all right, let's do it. Yeah. But you shouldn't. Basically, my, my argument is that you 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 shouldn't trust your intuition to find A ever. Yeah. Like, at least I couldn't trust my intuition to find A. So what do we change about our intuition to even think about it? I would probably end up accidentally playing it. Like, honestly, I would Atari just because I'm like, oh, I could Atari there. E easy clap, boys. But I don't know. I, I feel like it's just repetition, right? That's how you change your intuition in general. That's the only way. But uh, this isn't like repetition. It means you play your games, you go to the weakest area, you add the strength of, you, you know, you do your own theory of go. This is like a different theory, I think. So, like, I, I even if I played, my own style for the for the next thousand games never changed it. Yeah. I don't think I would start playing A. Hmm. Hmm. Like I think I you think really you need would. to change your mindset. I think now. you I would. You were already really? because you're thinking about it, right? This is this is how you this is, right now. This is how you improve because we see it in a pro game. We see the thought process. Then you're like, then you go into a game and you try to apply it, and that's just it.
and it's just repetition of this. And then you will see it. Like that this is that is it. Right? You think about it critically and you try to look for it in your own games and you fuck it up, but eventually you see it once, then eventually you see it twice, and then you just start seeing it regularly. And then your intuition upgrades. Right? Sure, sure. Um Yeah, I think. But as for how to like actually like think of it, I don't know. Like right now. Like I don't think you could go into your game like tomorrow and like Always find the good exchanges, the subtleties. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the problem with with uh, <laughs> increasing your skill at this level. Yeah. At this level, you just need to have be so much better at the subtleties. Even if you're, you know, your basics are super strong, the other guys are too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but it, cool move, right. right? Cool move. Cool exchange. Now he's play here. Oh, he never plays it. Sag. Push like a. Alpha go Chad? Nope. Okay. He plays the diagonal move. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of interesting too. I really would have pushed here. I mean would have iron pillared here over over that. Like uh, I don't understand what really? the what the benefit is to S twelve over R twelve. Uh hmm. I mean, in, in my own game, since I'm a Fox player, I'd probably go here and just do the strongest thing out of, out of course. Yeah. But, like, if I was actually, uh, I don't know, if I was being reasonable at the time, I don't know, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I was particularly undrunk and then uh, was thinking to, to defend, I definitely would choose one over the move in the game. I don't know why. Why not? Why not? Hmm. I see the peep as a, as a weakness. That's slightly annoying but i don't know kind of true that the peep is something and uh when we play this one there is no equivalent of that the problem is that like the push here becomes mm -hmm. so much stronger yeah. yeah absolutely or is the push fake is it so much i guess it is so much stronger yeah <laughs> I, it really is, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. All right. Does Umiri push? She doesn't push right away. You can just push later. And you can also cut right now. This is also kind of big, but yeah. you can do those later. Basically, you could even claim their Mii, A or B, to, to just strengthen this stick. Mm, mm. Okay. Uh, this is the place to, to come back into the game. Yeah. How do you think Sumeria attacks it? Oh god. Oh god. I don't know. K10, we peep, we jump, murder time. You could also play over here or like over here. These are not small, but um, peep, jump, murder time seems sus to me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think if I was attacking, I would think about... Oh, sheesh. It's a heart attack. It's a heart attack. Yeah. Maybe Attach. I'd try that one. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. But probably I would prefer to play over here, honestly. <laughs> and wait. One of Not these moves and bide my chances. Oh, wow. Oh. She tries this one. No. Uh, the point here is just to, to, to grip. I, I totally understand what she's trying to do with this. Mm. But. Okay, this is... <laughs> If I invade, if I explain this truly, I have to divulge some trade secrets I only share with my students. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to know, all you got to do is sign up for Telegraph's lessons, boys. Absolutely. Telegraph gives lessons. Message him on Discord or by. How do people message you? Actually, uh, you can send an email at telegraphgo at gmail dot com. There you go. There you go. You want no, but actually, I. <laughs> the people I've told told the the lesson to understand exactly what I'm talking about. Like, it's, just, it's really hard to explain for telling the concept that no one else tells in English. So take that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it the clickbait. If you want to see the end clickbait. of this review, 
uh come to the the thing the patreon where it's yeah 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 we're done now we'll do the last (laughs) few moves of the game feels good (laughs) no um anyway the point is it's a good move putting putting pressure on weight right yeah good move putting pressure on weight (laughs) all right and uh i imagine white takes care of his group through some some shapely thing some shapely thing and the question is how to make shape isn't it i think you can do it in most of the ways i've been playing like i uh, like the, that i've been putting on the board mm-hmm. i mean but why plays this one oh. <laughs> oh. this is a move oh. that just uh, visibly looks non-blue right <laughs> i mean <laughs> There's no way this is blue. You, you, you're telling me A for B is good for white? Hmm. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I like it, though. I still like it. I hate it. I love it. It's nice. <laughs> okay. Um, what should black play here in reality? Come trade over here? Not yet. Mm. Push here? Not yet. This kind of move? Not yet. It's hard to find a move for black. Honey. Oh, okay. Okay. Do. So, in general, I was thinking A for B would happen. But now that we come here, I'm like, why do I have to play B? <laughs> do I really That's have to? Thinking. Why can't I just push in the center? Seems he big too. push. Damn. He didn't push. Did he jump? Something like that? He blocked. He okay, block. fine. Then, uh, okay, this exchange I don't really understand from Sumiri anyway, to be fair. Like, uh, what do you do next for black? I'm confused. Mm. You can't push, right? Because uh, push and here and here, here. I mean, the shape is just busted. It's terrible. I mean, wake gets Sente and two cutting points just sitting there. And what did you gain? I mean, nothing. Mm. Maybe it was time Suji. Now she's going to come back to attack. She really captured. Take. This is the only way that that R13 makes sense, but isn't this so small? Like, this is prematurely defending this group. But this group can capture that stone. You don't need to defend that group. This is like taking territory and, and casually defending. I mean, I guess she's aiming yeah, at S10 that's... and Madness. We're yeah. going to try to take make that have one eye and do some kind of splitting attack. But isn't that just stupid? Like, isn't that no way? It's psycho. I love it. Okay. Uh, Wait, does this one to punish back even further? Now you have to capture. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to move on the outside, and uh, and then just comes comes back to connect. And this is, I think, the maybe the the proper way to punish this ridiculous move over here. What is that? Look, 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 look. Black just made the exchanges here. It was it was like this beforehand, and then Black made a whole bunch of sente exchanges, and now it looks like this. Isn't this just so much worse? <laughs> like I don't get it. But it's a chance. I think uh, you know, when you're behind, you gotta you gotta like stir things up. Fine, but I mean, right? It's terrible. Right. True. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the stirring. Yeah. Um, telegraph grumble, tilted. Grumble, grumble. Telegraph tilted. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> <laughs> How are these players better than almost everyone in the Western world? It's terrible. <laughs> Sad. Wait, please. Wow. <laughs> what actually plays it? Love. What actually plays this? Without even bothering to do anything on the outside first. Like anything on the outside first. That's cool. The reason why you would play this one is for pure I win. And uh, you still have the weaknesses out here that I'm going to exploit later. And mm-hmm. there's no way you can like attack this group. That's what he's saying. So he, like, it's a bit more, um, I don't know, actually aggressive than it, than it looks. Because uh, if you were being fully defensive here, you would say, okay, okay, I force you. I force you to surround me and like really like actually go ahead and surround me here. And then I live. This is a defensive way, right? 
And then it's saying, okay, I gained one and three to, to help defend this group, mm. but it could be a little hard to hold on to them, right? So uh, White just holds on. White just does this directly. He'll suffer this attack. He'll he'll go through it, and then later on he can do more aggressive things like trying to attack those two stones because he's very strong already. Okay. So Miria plays here, trying to bust bust up the upper side. Still attacking this, of course. Yeah. I think we just block. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Bless you. You're good, man. Just block. You would just block. What's the threat, though? Oh, uh, no. I I don't th I don't know if I'd block, but I feel like he's playing so. You feel like Hideki would just block? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I do. Um, I'd be super tempted in my game to play B17, but I know he doesn't because he's Hideki Komatsu. <laughs> that's not how he plays. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, he just blocked. Sun knows exactly how to play like a Japanese 9P. He just chooses not to. <laughs> <laughs> just block. Just live. Just live. Just block. Easy. Just live. Just block. I mean, it is true that White was sorely ahead after the after everything. Like, look, look at Black's territory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And, uh, okay, I'm, I'm done circling. And then look at wait. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, uh, wait even has Komi. It's, it's like this is a, a no Komi game and Wade is still winning. Yeah. That's okay. crazy. I had to go to that. Samira that comes huge. back here. Yeah. Sorry, can I connect? Okay. So wait just firmly... Oh! There's we're, this? how many moves are in this game? We're at one thirty four. This uh, is three forty nine. Oh my god! <laughs> Actually, it became a two and a half point game in the end. But I'm pretty sure that's Hideki just uh, bailing off points to, for a very clear counting win. Mm. So, um, you know, he wanted to 